The Industrial Heritage Trail is a one mile long rail trail stretching from Eastern Avenue to Main Street in Keene, New Hampshire. To begin at the southeast end, follow Eastern Avenue about two tenths of a mile to a small dirt lot on your left. The trail is at the end of the lot. Something that would be kind of important for anyone interested in the history of the rails to notice, follow this trail with a straight line across. On the other side of the road, you'll notice where the rail line once continued. Seven tenths of a mile away, the trail begins again as the Cheshire Rail Trail's southern section. The Industrial Heritage Trail is a link between the north and south sections of the Cheshire Rail Trail, which spans from the Massachusetts border up to Walpole, New Hampshire. Something else that's interesting is across the road, Chapman Road, that's actually where another rail line split off and went up and curved around the mountain and continued eastward. But enough history, time to hit the trail. Aries showing us a little canal, or you can see the old granite blocks down there, which are very typical of railroads. See almost immediately from the Eastern Avenue parking area, there's a little placard. This is the first of four placards you see along the way. And even though it's winter and there's snow all around, I'm sure you'll notice that the trail itself is well maintained. The entire length of the trail is asphalt, and as you can see, it is plowed. So, it can be used year round. This trail is definitely a good one for running along, as you can see Aries doing up ahead. Uh, just be a little bit careful though, especially on days like this. It's a little cold and a little misty, so it gets kind of slick. That little girl loves the snow. Yes, she does. Whoop. You see as you go along, there's another placard, Contemporary Industry. Always kind of interesting to stop and read them, find out the history that used to be around. Some of the buildings you pass by date back to the 1800s during this railroad's heyday. And you'll see here is the third placard. Right up ahead is a little bridge you go across. The bridge crosses a small canal, and while there's no remnants left of the original bridge, it crosses in the same location. Immediately after the bridge, you'll cross Water Street. On the other side, you'll spot a basketball court, followed by a vacant lot leading to some buildings. Cross Community Way and keep on towards the buildings. Uh-oh, looks like there's some construction up ahead. The day Aries and I were on the trail, they were building what looks to be a courtyard of some type. So you come up the trail here, and uh-oh, sidewalk closed, detour. Ooh, gotta go around. But right on the other side, see actually where that person's walking right now is where the trail continues. So it's a quick detour up to Railroad Street, around the motel, and we're back on track. And here we are on the other side. As you can see, we were right over there. And the trail connects and continues on over on this side. And here is the fourth placard for the Industrial Heritage Trail. So for anybody interested in starting from this side of the trail, you can see there's parking along the street, though it is metered. And here we are at the corner of Railroad Street and Main Street in Keene which is where the Industrial Heritage Trail officially ends. If you want to continue on, you can keep going across the street over there 
which is part of the Cheshire Rail System or part of the Cheshire Rail Trail. But if you're looking for just a quick little hike or bike ride or maybe even a trail that you can start at one end, go into town, stop, get a bite somewhere, and then turn around and head back, the Industrial Heritage Trail may be for you.